Hi, um, this video will show the workflow of using Phil360 V3 controlling a P50 scanner. Uh, a workflow I didn't, I've added to this as I was doing some upgrades <laughs> to the firmware of the RTC and P50. And I thought it just would be useful to document this workflow to share with you guys. So, what we're looking at here is the, the the low weight preview object from the A50 scan, and at this point in time, the scanner was um, already completing the um, the second scan. Actually, starting the second scan, and you can see here in the interface that you can control whether you want to take the images or use HDR or not, or do or use the the, the double scan feature or not. But also, if you swipe up. Uh, on the iPhone, I don't have enough screen size to see, to see the whole thing, so you swipe up to control the range and the resolution, the sensitivity settings for the P50. So as it scans, it will synchronize the, the, the low level preview object. Let me hit the pause here for a second. And at this stage, you can see that the scan was brought in, but it's not oriented. So obviously the, the P series doesn't have the visual inertial uh, system like the, like the RTC. Um, but it does have on Phil360, we do have this amazing feature, which is the pre-align tool. And what it does, it will let you, from, upon sequential scans, it will let you align the data based off the common geometry by just simply clicking that, that button there. So it will bring the both scans uh, close enough. And at this point, if you're familiar with Rester360, you, you, you can either use the orange and the cyan interface to manually bring the data together, or you could just optimize because they are close enough. But this works really well, even with the, the, the BLK or the RTC light. When you create a link, then you can go on to the next um, station and so on. Now, you also might have seen in different posts from myself or Klaus or Nikki or Paul that in this version of Phil360, we have the ability to geotag targets. And what the geotagging does, it creates a seed point that then REST 360 can use to automatically fit a target uh, on, to, on, on the software and use that to help with registration or further down the line, down the line if you want to apply controlled control um, coordinates to georeference based off that based off that information. So quite quite straightforward. This is just a snapshot from the from the 3D viewer built in into Phil 360. Now I have to say the whole workflow was actually very, very smooth and definitely, definitely really helps out the the site work. Probably would be more comfortable to use an iPad, but I'll, I guess I'll try that next time. I only had my my iPhone with me today. So data from P50 into Rest 360. Um, you'll notice that I only have the auto black and white uh, target option on on import. Here you already have because I had targets the the quality of the registration based off the intersection of the links. And I have where the points where I uh, geotagged my uh, targets on site using Phil360 showing up. And if I jump here now into a scan position, I'll be able to see those. There are obviously some other targets that could, um, that could use some checking. Um, and you know, we, this, this is the type of stuff that we tend to cover during our uh, training sessions. Here it's really more about showing you the whole back-to-back uh, -back workflow. Obviously there's a lot of, lo loads of features, so not really much of a reason for this not to go well. So you can see all the data is lining up uh, correctly and accurately in, in, in Register 360 using our True Slicer tool. But really, the point here is how much easier it was to be able to use Filsfixy to control and to create those links um, and, those, and those targets, essentially, before getting it into REST 360, where it gets to a point where in the office is pretty much a, a workflow of drag, drop, and done. But it will still give you all of the tools required to do a really accurate um, and really con uh, go really in depth to, to quality control, the accuracy of your registration and your data. So you have the best of both worlds in this, in this case, in my mind. 
Hopefully this was useful and I hope you have a great day.